Good morning. What is the source of the vision of the false prophet? Our study today is at Jeremiah 23, verses 15 to 20. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make their drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, profaneness has gone out into all the land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak a vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of the Lord. They continually say to those who despise me, The Lord has said, You shall have peace. And to everyone who walks according to the dictates of his own heart, they say, No evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and has perceived and heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, a violent whirlwind. It will fall violently on the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you will understand it perfectly. So they speak a vision of their own heart, but who has their heart? Well, God doesn't have it. Then Satan has it, whether more or less consciously. Now, what would cause somebody to think that they could speak in the Lord's voice if they don't have the Lord in their heart? How could he intentionally offend the Lord God, the Lord of all, who could blink him out of existence in a moment? How could he do that? Does he think this is going to end well for him? The false prophet is living a species of insanity, mental and emotional coldness. He manipulates people in the very shadow of the one who can annihilate him. Is he banking on God's mercy toward him or God's in, uh, indifference? Is he merely a charlatan? Is he doing the, the prophet gig because he thinks he can use it to emotionally manipulate people, but he doesn't even believe there's a God? So what motivates the false prophet? Are his values any higher than that, that he just gets a kick out of manipulating people? Well, we don't necessarily know what's in the mind or heart of the false prophet, but we do know that he says that they, when you listen to them, they make you worthless. That's a pretty extraordinary statement. When you hear the false prophet, you have the, and you are willing to listen to him, it, it gives you, there's kind of a reflexive trusting in his words that sort of, I think, begins to happen. We've got to be careful about even starting on this track. You know that the words of the false prophet will inevitably take you away from God's true word. To listen to his words is to volunteer to be steered wrong. We might be curious, but, but don't do that. See, when we volunteered to follow Jesus, we volunteered to be steered right. And so we want to go just by the true messages of God to us. God wants us to avoid the false prophets. And we'll do best by refamiliarizing ourselves with the words of the true prophets. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. There are many voices in our world, many, many signals coming in from the internet, from television, radio, uh, networks, internet, Wi-Fi. Lord, there's many signals trying to get in between our ears, trying to get down into our heart and change us from the inside out. Help us, Lord. Help us to always be people of the book, start with the book, finish with the book, in the middle, we study and search our, the book with our hearts submitted to you. Help us, Lord, so that we would not be the victims of false prophets. And if we're victims of false prophets, we're actually victims of ourselves as well, Lord, because we know better. We've been warned. So, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to hear your messages in this intense hour of Earth's history. Lord, we ask for this help from you in Jesus' name. Amen. So the false prophet speaks a vision of his own heart. We don't need any of that. We just want to hear from God's heart. So let's be careful out there. And God be with you today in all that you do to serve him.